Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It's Gudrona Mananyani over here. I go by Gudrona underscore more on the socials. And I just like to say that welcome back to another video. This is the face for today's video. If you do want to see how I got you, keep on watching. Okay guys, so this is a get ready with me, chit chat with me video. I haven't done this in a minute, so welcome back. If you haven't seen all my other makeup videos, please do tune into those after this one. I promise you, you won't regret it. So I have added new products to my makeup things. I will list the new products, but the ones that you already know, I'm not going to keep showing you because I feel like you guys know them by now. So what probed the topic for this video for me is I was watching a YouTube video a few days ago and this YouTuber was talking about, it's a South African YouTuber and she was talking about the fact that growing up she was bullied and that got me thinking like growing up is there anyone who hasn't been bullied and i don't mean bullied like i don't know beat up get take your lunch money or whatever growing up because i feel like if you haven't been bullied i feel like you're the one who was doing the bullying yeah um in terms of me let's go down memory lane man eh? i wouldn't say i was like i was bullied like that um i was for me it was more of being made fun of but i feel like we've all been bullied we've all or we relate to it like i said if you do not relate to it you are probably you were probably the problem <laughs> you are probably the reason why people are growing up hating themselves and stuff like that that's deep i said what i said after priming my face, I want to go straight into the eyeshadow. Today, we're doing an eyeshadow look. on y'all excited? So, yeah. Um. So, with me, I was... I was tall all my life. I've always been tall. And in primary school... Now, most of mine happened in primary school, if I'm being honest. Like, I was being made fun of because I was that tall girl um i'm above average so growing up like being my height wasn't always the easiest if i'm being honest because you always by height by default everything like okay the school systems when you used to line up remember those days where you used to line up in terms of your height i'd always be the one at the back of the line um and it comes to seating like sitting in class they also put the tall ones at the back which was actually a problem because now i'm blind i'm blind and i'm tall so what happens to me like do you guys get that like i'm blind and i'm tall because i, I used to i used to wear glasses for brief stage in high school in primary school so yeah now i'm blind so i can't see number one and now i have to be at the back of the class number two but sometimes, like, you know, the, the teachers will give you an exception that, okay, you know what, you can sit in the, not in the front. I was more for the middle, you know. But I will say the perk of my height was netball because um, your height in netball actually determines what position you play. So because of my height allowed, I used to play goal attack. So I played that position all my life, actually. So since grade one, I was like goal attack and I loved it. It was my favorite position you know so yeah that was the one perk about it then um and not it got it got to a point where it was like not so cute anymore because people now started making fun of me i'm the tallest person um how do i date um you know all of those things but at that at that time and you just you keep it pushing like what can you say you know what i mean and i never used to date it wasn't really um an issue like that but it just it just wasn't cute man so yeah being made fun of and all of that it really messes a person up because now you start not loving yourself then comes all these things of wanting to change your body wanting to change the way you look because people just made you uncomfortable in your skin which is crazy like now that you think about it because it's like why would you put so much power in somebody else to make you feel a certain way about yourself but obviously i can say that confidently now because i've been i've accepted who i am as a person that my heights are something i cannot change and if you can't change it you need to grow to love 
started. But at this stage, my young self, I was not at that at that realization. So I would wanna like do things to make me look shorter, you know. So I'd always get like flats and not platform shoes or I'd wear sandals. Um, I didn't really like tall girls at that stage. Also had this posture thing where they would slouch, and I didn't really like that. So that's something I was like, hell no. Like, and I'd stand a certain way where I don't know, like it gives your legs brackets, and I don't like that now because why would I do like why would I push myself to stand a certain way because so that my height doesn't show as much now i'm in a stage where i'm like Ugh, i wish i didn't do that because now if i forget and not put in conscious the way i'm standing I end up standing that way because now that way has been comfortable for me if you look at people who change their bodies now it stems from then which is so crazy you know that something like that sticks with you till you're old enough to now start changing your body but yeah um so i would do all of those things convincing myself that it doesn't make me as tall as i am just a lie because you can't change your height you know uh then high school came and it just got worse in high school the teasing and the what but just got worse which also annoys me now when i think back to it because why did i allow the people specifically the person who who used to tease me about it and all of that why did i allow that person so much power because i didn't even care about that person like that you know but then because the shame was made so public so that everyone can hear and all of that i think that's what took a toll on me um so yeah but luckily at that stage as well okay guys so i went in with a brown eh? i went in with like a dark brown this brown over here this one over here hope you guys can see so now i'm gonna go in with a lighter brown which is okay i think i'll go in with this brown now yeah for here so remember guys when you're putting on eyeshadow you need to tap away like the excess okay cool so yeah in high school like i said it got worse because i put so much i allowed a person that i don't really care about to have so much power over my life but i said i cared because of the fact that they would make fun of me in front of people around me so whether it be somebody i like a friend a crush or whatever you know what i mean so that's what made it like hard i especially felt okay with my height especially when it came to modeling you know so yeah i started becoming comfortable in my skin with the modeling but if i could tell my younger self right now i'll tell that person to girl like that's your body and that's the only body you're gonna have for life you know so you need to embrace it and stop caring about people what people think you know if your close circle your friends your family loves you for who you are then why don't you love you but anyway everybody has that thing that they insecure or that they were insecure about and that just so happens to be mine i even used to have a crush on somebody in primary school and he was so short shame he was so short <laughs> i'm sure I, I wonder what he was actually thinking when he found out because he did know but i don't know how he reacted and i think that was my biggest fear like being rejected like that just because of your height yeah also when i was young my body also developed very slowly so meaning my boobs started showing at a later stage or at an older age i don't know how to phrase that but yeah and you know people used to make fun of that too i remember one girl um she even she once asked me she's like do you even have boobs i will never forget that conversation because i have not like bro like like what do you what did, what <laughs> like even in that moment i was like i was like what like that is something that i just was not expecting like like what do you mean like do you want me to take my dress off and show you you know i don't like i i was so baffled in that situation because i have never been asked something so p bizarre and i'm thinking like for you to ask that question like how long have you been looking at me i'll tell you how she asked me that we were we did this thing in, in primary school where we pray before sitting down ne? so i think it was after our prayer then we were putting the chairs down yes it was after our prayer and then we were putting the chairs down i was in grade six i'll never forget this 
uh, we were putting the chairs down to sit and then i sat behind like behind diagonal from her behind diagonally from her and she turned around and she's like hi Gutlana. i'm like hi she's like so like do you even have boobs yeah Mukele. <laughs> I, I, I you know i didn't give an answer now because i was so shocked at the question like it, it would raises so much eyebrows for me because it's like bro like what do you mean like when my eyes were closed were you looking at whether or not? It, it there's so many questions to it but luckily my friend rescued me my friend at that time she rescued me and she's just like no she told her off she answered her but i didn't even i don't even remember what she said because i was still so baffled by the question sorry guys so i went in for the pink i went in with this pink over here from my from this revlon color stay palette okay now i'm going in i just want to shimmer so i'm going in with this color over here so yeah guys i was just so shocked by that question my friend she just defended me shout out to her because my friend at the time because we're not friends anymore but like she just defended me and she told her like where to get off because what do you even mean by that question you know so yeah i was a tall you're tall skinny girl so you know you get made fun of you skinny you tall you this you that it's so exhausting more than anything it is so exhausting because why are you making fun of something i cannot change make fun of something i can like my handwriting then i'll practice how to write better you know what i mean so yeah man i don't i don't blame people now who change their bodies and stuff because those things are scarring because those things are very scarring guys like it impacts you for life like how old am i now and i still remember that conversation with this girl like it was yesterday you know so yeah man i was watching this youtube video and she just she brought me back to those days because it's like she was telling she was sharing her story about why she wants to change her body and stuff like that and i was just like no but that's it's real like real real you know it's just so sad that it stems from that far like your childhood you know so guys this is my eyes i think it looks so cute let's just clean it up with um a makeup wipe so i'm gonna go in with these makeup wipes from clicks um just to clean it up and give it a bit more shape if I were to speak to my younger self, I'll just tell her, like, don't let these these things... People are always going to say things, you know? And whether I'm fat, I'm skinny, I'm dark, I'm light, I'm always going to... Like, somebody is always going to have something to say. Somebody's always going to disapprove of it. You can't make everybody happy, especially with things that you cannot change. Things that people point out, make fun of. It's your signature. It's what makes you, you. I like to do my eyebrows and then my eye shadow first if on days i do have my eyeshadow so that you clean up it's just i feel like the cleanup is so much better also guys i realized that i got burnt so this foundation isn't is now a bit lighter than my skin meaning i need to get another foundation that actually fits my skin or something to mix it with to fit my skin it's also kind of tricky because it's like also winter is coming guys and winter a person gets lighter in winter so then the shade will be perfect again in winter but it's just been so hot lately and when you're outside for two seconds anyway in other news i'm reading this book guys it's called the why in your man is silent so it's our man not your man anymore guys it's a two book series type of thing and i am obsessed to say the least i am obsessed i'm still reading the second book you know i realized i put this thing here and i need to do my under eyes you know some eyeshadow looks guys you have to do after like i should have done everything and then the pink after but i didn't understand the plan i just didn't get the plan so what i'm gonna do is just put the concealer towards the end it's all i can do
oh this is the part i do not like having to bake because of how messy it is i need a new baking powder speaking of a new baking powder how is the yardly translucent juice powder because that's the one i want to get next so guys anyway i'm reading this book and oh my gosh oh my gosh yo guys this book so i read the first book about two years we're in 2024 now two years ago and it's been that long because i purposefully told myself i'm not gonna read the second book because of how mad the first book made me <laughs> like it made me so mad guys you guys need to read it so it's basically about a girl i think the girl is from zimbabwe and then the guy is from ghana and they obviously fall in love and all of those things he cheats or no he cheated with her he was married he cheated with her and then she becomes the next wife i don't know or girl or whatever and it's just so hectic guys i don't want to spoil it so i'm not going to say too much because i really don't want to spoil it for you but it makes me so mad because let me just say how you lose them how you get them is how you lose them do with that what you must but yeah how you get them is how you lose them so i purposely told myself i will not read the second book because of how many feelings and emotions and anger especially of anger the first one made me feel and i'm reading the second one because i have nothing better to do with my life not by choice the first book was basically this girl she meets this guy this guy is a professor um in varsity he's a professor yeah not hers but he is a professor at the university speaking of guys just because you're not her teacher sort of to say lecturer or whatever isn't it still wrong to date students because she keeps saying it's not my he's not my professor and stuff but i'm just like it's still wrong though you know is it not whether he teaches you or not you're a student and he's a lecturer but anyway um so yeah it's, that's their relationship dynamic and yeah guys it's such a good read i won't lie if a book can evoke 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 emotions from you just know it's a good book even though my said emotions is anger you're not gonna talk about that so yeah now I'm trying to give you a brief summary of the first book without giving it away. Okay, so I did say that the guy is married and she doesn't know. She doesn't know that he is married and eventually he gets the she gets the guy or he gets the girl. She accepts him even though he is married. Um it ends with him doing the exact same thing to her. Not exact, but do him doing the same thing to her. So basically, now the wife is out the picture and she is now the so-called soon-to-be wife and she finds out that nigga is busy with somebody else now i got mad because i'm like how many times has he shown you the side of him yet you still take him back now guys let's jump to the second book because that's where i am now i can't remember too much details from the first book so i decided to read the second book and i, I got so pissed off already like i'm so mad already because i'm only a few chapters in and i'm already so mad because of how it starts so um how does it start so anyway she finds out that he impregnated somebody else and um i hope i'm not giving away too much of the book but that's like a small minor detail so he she finds out that he impregnated somebody else keep in mind she was struggling to get pregnant you see that in the first book she was struggling to like she kept getting miscarriages and he impregnates somebody else she finds out then in the second book she keeps going on and on about no I'm never going back to him and she keeps taking him back and everybody tells her like everybody around her is telling her that you keep taking him back and that's what the problem is the problem is he knows that you'll take him back at the end of the day. So he does what he does, knowing that you'll take him back at the end of the day. Everybody's telling her this. She's like, yeah, no, not this time. I'm done. And the whole shebang. Then he, he, what's this? Does some grand gesture thing for her. The grand gesture annoyed me because it's grad it's her graduation and he literally in my eyes hijacked her graduation like what do you mean he's apologizing getting people to sing for her apologizing at her graduation at her graduation i'd be mad no personally because now you're turning this day away from me my perfect day the day i worked so hard for to this grand thing of you apologizing so now not only is 
everybody in my business because you're apologizing to me in public but you're taking away the day i worked so hard for for your antics yes it's a grand gesture but do a different grand gesture not on the one day of my life that i'm going to take with me for the rest of my no guys i had a very big problem with that maybe i'm the problem but i had a very big problem with that because you're not gonna take a, a day for, that has so much sentimental value to do that so he basically hired somebody to come and sing for her while the graduation was in progress by the way and say i'm sorry and everything in front of Pamwabantu, in front of you know so now i'm walking on stage and then you're gonna hand me my degree it's a it, i think it was her master's or phd i can't remember and now on top of all of that you're handing me my master's or phd at the same time i'm telling you i'm done with you no guys i got so mad by all of this because you are like i've been saying you're taking the most important day one of the most important days of my life and making it a day where you want to grandly apologize yes you apologize but don't take away the most important day of my life because you messed up there's so many times chances where you could have done grand, grand gestures when i was on campus come with speakers sure but on my graduation like are you for real not only did he do that she doesn't speak to her family he brought in the whole family so now we need to act like we're happy because now the family does not know that we're not together anymore can you see like my problem with all of these things like the family gesture thing was cute but don't be there invite my family it's fine you just don't be there because we're not okay like that lie and say that you were busy you know but the whole graduation thing yo made me mad i was like if this person if i was this person i don't know what i would have done but i definitely wouldn't have taken you back he bought her her favorite car which was the x6 and shout yeah, thank you you know but like i said don't take my graduation day the most important day of my life and now want to do all these things for me the most important day of my life of my life guys i would have personally been so mad so 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 mad yeah like do your grand gestures yes but if you're apologizing don't come and now i want to apologize on my graduation day the day where i'm proud of myself the day where i'm celebrating me now you're making it a day where and i'm forced to forgive you because of all your grand gestures no thanks no thanks so yeah guys that uh, that really annoyed me because what do you mean and she took him back let me tell you the friends were like um the same friends that were telling her you will take him back but like to him just go back to him because you're leading him on granted she's leading him on but what do you even mean i'd say thank you for the car you bought it you bought it for me to say congratulations you didn't buy it to say stay with me so i will keep my car but i don't forgive you for what you did guys like imagine you're trying to get pregnant he gets somebody else pregnant he, so he cheats on you and then he gets that person pregnant and now a baby is some it's something that it's not two seconds the baby is in your life is is there is going to be there for the rest of your life meaning that connection between you and the the cheaty cheaty is always going to be in my life and this baby is a representation of what i could not give you oh guys oh guys so i'm very like i'm struggling to finish this book because and i'm telling you guys all of this before i finish it because i don't there's a i feel like i will not finish it like i want to finish it because i want to see how it ends but i don't want to finish it because of all these things i feel so strongly about by the way guys i'm going in with this mascara from maybelline sky high and it is doing the things that needs to be done period okay guys so now i'm gonna put on my eyelashes i still left my face to bake um i did wings for the first time guys i hate doing wings because this is one thing i'm not perfect in but you do it until you know how to do it so i got these lashes oh okay at least they come with glue it's the it's from essence and i was so worried that i do not have glue okay guys so i got the lashes on these lashes are just so light these lashes are perfect for when you don't want um makeup uh yeah don't want to have like a lot of makeup on or just makeup in general so it is so light but for the face that i did actually it's very light should have went for like heavy heavier lashes but these are gonna be great for days i don't feel like putting on makeup and 
guys now i'm moving away these the thing i buff i'm moving a, uh, my baking mop out the way now ash and today it baked going in with some blush okay guys so this glue this these lashes did come with the glue this glue it sticks trust me it sticks i'm just disappointed that these lashes aren't lashing the way i was hoping that they would because they are so light um i think let's do some shimmer and then we can do our lips well now that i have this pink underneath my eyebrows i'm not gonna do underneath my eyebrows and the corner of my eyes let's line my lips let's set the face Guys, one thing about glue, I do not miss gluing lashes. Shem. I think let's also put some beauty spots. So y'all already know the first place. Second place would be over here. And that is the look. If you guys have come this far into my video, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, and Thank you for getting this far into my video. Um, if you did like it, please don't forget to leave a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, it's peace and love from me to you. Bye, guys.